Hi, I'm Charlie Connor of Connor Homes Company, and I'm here with Chef John Howie today. You know, we've got this partnership going with Connor Homes now that I really love the idea that we're building these John Howie signature kitchens in Heron. This is our new waterfront project on Lake Washington in Kirkland, and we love building homes the way people will use them, and what better way to use them than to have the best chef in town <laughs> teaching us how to set up a kitchen and how to cook. The best part about what we're going to do today is that we're going to eat it afterwards. <laughs> So, I love that. <laughs> so we're going to uh, cook a little steak, but we're going to start with making our famous five cheese twice baked potatoes. So we need to rub a little oil on the potatoes because what this does is it makes sure that the skin comes out real nice and crisp, but it doesn't crack. So get your hands in there, rub those puppies up. All right. What's the temperature of this oven? This oven right now is at 400 degrees and you can use between 375 and about 425 for these. We're going to use them for about 45 minutes, pull them out, take out that center, and make a wonderful stuffing. The tenderloin, or the filet mignon, is a steak that's really widespread, and people love it. And why? Because it's easy to eat, it's tender, it's got flavor, and if you cook it properly, it can still be nice and moist. Now, we're going to use our famous steak rub today. It is a combination of kosher salt, black pepper, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. And are we going to rub these steaks then, John? Yeah, you can actually pick up the steak with your other hand and just get it all on the sides, the edges. So the steaks are perfectly seasoned. You did a great job. Thank you. And so we've got a little bit of olive oil in this pan, just a small amount. The pan's going to get good and hot. We're going to lay those steaks in there and sear both sides. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Nice sizzle. Okay. That's great. These steaks, you're probably going to want to let them sit there until we actually start to see a little bit of browning right around okay. the edge of the bottom so that you're going to have a nice golden brown on top. Great job searing the steaks. Thank you. Um, they are sitting here resting now before we put them in the oven to finish. And we're going to pull out those potatoes and finish the potatoes. Well, we have uh, cheddar and jack cheese. We've got some Asiago cheese and rondole, which is a processed uh, sort of a creamy cheese that has garlic and herbs and pepper in there. It's really good. And then we're going to finish with the Parmigiano Reggiano. And it's a, the nice aged, 12 year aged Parmesan gives it a nice sharp finish. It's got some crispy cooked bacon in there, butter, because butter makes everything better. <laughs> a little sour cream, some white pepper, and we're gonna actually use a little bit of our steak seasoning in there as well. Oh, great. And then we're gonna slice up some green onions for this dish, and then some chives to sprinkle on the steaks when we're finished. So you can kind of smell those potatoes, huh? And, oh, they look great. Yeah, that nice sheen on them from the oil. So the potatoes are perfect. We're gonna cut those open, slice them all the way through, and then you and I are both gonna take one. We're gonna use a spoon, and we're just both gonna put them into this container here. And you wanna leave a little bit of potato around the edge. It has a little bit of structure. You only need one half for each one, because you're gonna fill it in. So the next okay. one, if you wanna pull it out entirely, and just take all of the potato out and put it right into the container, It'll work great. A lot of butter, but we're gonna put that all in there. This is gonna make about 10 of these potatoes, so it's not that much butter when you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I need to put the sour cream in there too, if you could do that. I'll start throwing in some of the cheeses. I know that the kitchens are very important to you in this parent project. My wife's favorite thing in the world is to have people over. And, you know, I've been designing my kitchens for a long time, and I've got my kitchen pretty much down now and put a lot of those elements into the Heron project. So when you sit there and you pull out a drawer, there is spices, every one of your spices, rather than them being in a cabinet where you gotta pull things out and search for them, they're all sitting there face up looking at you. When you wanna reach for something, it's right there. It's everything you handy to you. Just close and easy. Yeah. It makes it great and it makes it really comfortable for people to cook in their own kitchen. Get the rest of that cheese in there. We'll sprinkle in some onions. I'm gonna do a little bit of the seasoning, and of course, the bacon! You're almost gonna make a, sort of a really rich mashed potato out of this. Potato mixture's inside the pastry bag. We're just gonna set that down here, and we are just going to push. Just like caulking that shower. <laughs> and then we're gonna place these onto a tray and back in the oven so they get a nice browning on top. Okay. Charlie, we're going to make the sauce now for the steak. 
Okay. And what we're making is a maitre d' sauce. Are you familiar with that sauce? No, I'm not. Okay. So maitre d' is made with veal stock. And then we take that and we reduce it with some shallots and a little cognac. And then we're gonna finish it with some butter. And then we're gonna set that aside and hold it warm. Are you getting hungry? I am getting hungry. Is it time to put these potatoes in? It is. It's time to put the potatoes and the steaks in the oven. And we're okay. gonna, we're gonna be eating soon. That's gonna be awesome. Okay. All right, so throw those right in there. Probably about seven, eight minutes, we're gonna be eating. Charlie, let's go get those steaks and potatoes. I'm ready. excited to see how your customers like their kitchens in Heron. I think they're really going to love them. Well, John, I'm really appreciative of all the work we've done together in the partnership, and uh, you've done a fantastic job designing those kitchens at Heron, and I know that everybody is going to love them. I think they are too. going to be the perfect place to host your friends. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.